Good afternoon. For those of you who don't know, my name is Maya Karen. I run a fashion blog called Classically Kept. It does feature luxury, contemporary, and how to style and now natural hair care. So if you are into any of those things, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the notification bell. That way you will never miss a video. So I'm very excited today. This is my third video of this type. We are going to be doing a bag review. So it is this bag right here. It is the YSL mini Cassandra bag and I've had her for about two months now. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's first start with sizing. So this is the mini size. The mini Cassandra or the Cassandra bag comes in mini and it comes in a medium. At this point in time, they are not carrying it in a small or in a large. So let's go ahead and measure. I'm gonna do right here first. So this is eight inches and then I'll do right here. It's about a little bit right at six and a quarter. And then I will go ahead and do right here. It's right at about three inches and then I'll do the top from like right here to right here. Let's let's do it from right here to right here. It's about an inch and a half. So again, again just like the other bag, it's straight at the bottom where it's rounded and then it comes up, okay? All right, pricing. So I bought this or I ordered this purse the day after my birthday, which was December 22nd. We went to South Park Mall and there is a YSL or a new YSL store in there. So of course, when I went in there, the price increase already happened. So this bag, the mini is $2,550. Um, I think before it was like around $2,150. So it did jump up quite a bit, not a lot, but quite a bit, okay? Now you do also have the mini that comes in embossed leather and that is $2,690, all right? The medium, that is $2,800, okay? So colors, of course you have this color right here. This is the beige color and I will put the other ones up right here. You have white, you have red, you have green, you have black and you also have gray. Now the embossed does come in red, black and green. Okay. Okay. So now let's get into the bag features. And if you saw my luxury video or my luxury birthday haul, I will link it down below. You saw that I did not know. I did not know how to open this bag. It's really simple, but I just found that really funny. Bought a bag and didn't know how to open it. So you just take it. Let me get a little closer right here. The Y you just push it to the side like that and it opens just like that. Okay. All right, now this right here, it is pebbled leather. I do believe the medium does come in uh, smooth leather. So this is pebble leather. And then on the inside, it is black. It is still leather, but it is black. You do have two compartments. You do have a pocket right here. And then you do have a pocket right here, okay? And then on the side, this is where the strap actually goes. So you do have the gold hardware right here. And then this is where the strap attaches, all right? And then the bag also does have feet. Y'all know I love a bag with feet, okay? So it does come with a strap. Y'all know that the top handle is my favorite bag silhouette. However, I don't typically like straps with my bags. Um, this bag is small enough to where I can just carry it and of course it doesn't hold a lot but where I can just carry it and don't feel like I need to sling it on my shoulder. I'm not going to reattach this because it took forever for me to take it off but I will get a little bit closer. So this strap is a little bit different. So you do have the prong right here and then this one has one, two and there's another hole right here where you'll just literally take it and that hole goes right on top of that. So right here where you see the strap or where you see the buckle is where you'll attach it. And it just looks like any other typical bag. So it was right here and then it will fall if you're not carrying it, okay? Now, one thing that I do appreciate and one thing I have not seen before is let me show it to you this way first, is you see this right here, that right there, you can see it right here. That is actually for the back strap. It's an indentation for the back strap. And I can actually appreciate that. That's a different feature, okay? Now, the handle. 
Um, I'm a petite person, so most of your top handles I do, or my wrist does fit through. So if I just take my wrist, this one is a little small, but it still fits through. But it's not a bag that I'm going to be, actually I guess I can do that, but it's not very comfortable. So typically I just carry the bag like right here, or I just keep it in my hand. And again, I will do some mod shots in this video as well, okay? So if you have, I guess you would say like a large hand, or if you have like a big wrist, chances are you probably, because you can see that I'm having a little bit of trouble. So chances are you might not be able to get it through or it won't be very comfortable for you so this truly is a, a, a top handle okay all right so what fits inside y'all know that I do carry top handles they typically don't tend to be that large I do not carry my life in my bags that might change when I have a small child so I have everything that I typically carry right here so starting with my Vaseline oh and I forgot the Nivea a mask, the Chanel Compact, lotion, keys, and then my YSL matching card holder, which goes in the back. Like I showed you um, before, it does have two pockets. And again, like in the last video, the only thing that's not in here is my phone for reference because I'm filming on it for reference. I do have the iPhone 11 with like a very slim um, phone cover on. So that would actually go right behind the um, card holder. So you can see that it still fits some. It doesn't fit a lot. It actually doesn't fit as much as I thought it was going to. Um, if you are a blogger, I would probably say you can fit a very small camera in here or maybe like a small GoPro, okay? Um, but yeah, I don't typically carry anything in the back. And as a matter of fact, what is this? I think it's the authenticity card. Oh, it's just the um, the receipt. I'll just put it back. I don't typically carry anything um, behind here. Um, first of all, I would probably forget that it's there and I don't actually want to stretch out the leather, okay? Color transfer. Just like I said in my previous video when I was doing the uh, review for the blend in Brandon Blackwood, I can't necessarily speak to color transfer when you start talking about jeans. I know a lot of people are kind of weary about that, but I have been carrying this bag for two months and I have not had any issues. Like I don't have a jean skirt to test this on, but I have worn like other clothing that has been known to transfer. And as far as I can see, there is no transfer on this bag. Now, as far as the patina is concerned, and if you're not familiar with patina, patina is basically the color transfer or the darkening of the handle or the bag that is most held. Because you do have during the day and just in general, you do have like uh, a film or you do have like oils on your hand. So if you're continuously carrying something and it's a lighter color, that's when the patina comes in. It starts to get a little bit darker. And actually, if you're an LV, lover a lot of LV lovers they they like once the actual like leather of their bags or the handles of their bag patinas so this bag is about two months old it has not patina and there is no color transfer okay durability and wear and tear so as I have said before in real life I am a klutz this is pebbled leather and so is the card holder and I find that YSO bags especially when they're pebbled leather or when they're embossed that they are actually quite durable like I have said before in a previous bag review you know I'm sitting here scratching this and nothing is happening to it I've dropped this again multiple times and nothing has happened to it no dings no slits no nothing like that however I will say I have no idea how this happened and I will see if I can get a little closer I'm pretty sure I did something to the bag um, but right here you can see right here there is a little bit of a bend um, I probably did that when I dropped the bag because you know, I'm a klutz, but it just seems like even within being a klutz, things happen to me or things break in ways that I would never expect it to actually break. So what I'm thinking happened because for whatever reason I was in the kitchen and I had a knife and I don't know why my purse was in the same vicinity in the kitchen that I was. And I actually dropped the bag and then the knife dropped as well. So I'm thinking that's what happened, but I don't think it's going to, you know, affect the bag. Um, I know I have actually heard someone ask or someone has mentioned the actual way that the strap is attached to the bag, which is right here. So what I'm assuming this is, is that if you can see like right here, 
right here there's like a strap or there is like a leather piece and then what happens is it probably expands out and then it's probably sewn in there i don't foresee that like coming undone so like when you do carry this 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 like this little slit right here it does come up a little bit and it is a little raised but at this price point that should not be an issue this bag or this top handle should never come undone and even if it were all you would have to do is just take it to the YSL boutique and they should be able to assist you with that okay quality 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 is the bag worth the price I am going to say yes because I am a YSL lover um, they did just have a price increase. It wasn't outrageous, but it was definitely noticeable. For what the bag is, I think that the price point is absolutely fine. Again, YSL, while it is a luxury brand and their, and their pieces are beautifully made, it's still more so in the affordable, I guess, wheelhouse of luxury. Um, so as far as quality, I think the bag I think the bag has been made beautifully again with the hand stitching and I really appreciate the hardware on this bag. It's not like that really shiny cheapish gold. It's more so of like a brassy toner like a muted gold and I actually really like that. I don't although I do prefer gold over silver. I do not like um, shiny, shiny gold. To me, especially when it comes to hardware, it just cheapens the bag. So really quickly, let's just go over what the bag comes with or what it came in, okay? So it came in this box. I always love St. Laurent's packaging. It's black with white, very classic. And their packaging is very well made and durable, okay? Here is the wrapping paper and it does right here have a St. Laurent sticker. And then of course a dust bag. Y'all know anytime a shoe or a bag has a dust bag, I absolutely love it. And YSL's dust bags are very, very durable. This could probably be like somebody's knapsack. But it came like this and then it just has, yep, it just has the one drawstring. And it fits in there beautifully. It's enough room, but it will still keep it protected. Okay, so the next couple of questions. Does this bag fit well in my closet? I absolutely think it does. Because it is a neutral and my closet is more so of a neutral, neutral hues. I love black, gray is my favorite color. I bought a lot of tan last year. I love white, I love pinks, I love pastels. I have reached for this bag or have I reached for this bag as much as I thought I would? And the answer is yes. Um, in the mornings, we have now switched off um, picking up our son to school. So in the mornings, I am now picking him up and then David picks him up after practice and after school. I reach for this bag every single day. If not every single day, then every other day. Um, the couple of times that I have left the house last last month, I was either wearing this bag or I was actually reaching for the Maya fur trimmed Brandon Blackwood bag. But yes, I have reached for this bag as much as I thought I would. I love the silhouette. Um, I'm not a huge logo person, but I mean any designer, any brand is going to have some type of marketing. So I do not mind the logo. I think it is beautifully done, but I have always loved the YSL logo and I think it just fits in with the bag. Then you have this, um, this one chevron coming down. So I personally think it's well made. I think it's worth the price. Um, my only gripe, my two gripes with this bag is if you look on the website, the color. I love the color, but this is, I guess you would say beige or tan with more so of like a brown or a yellow undertone. I thought it was going to be more pink. I thought it was going to have a pinker undertone or a pinker hue. So that would be my only gripe, but then that's just an excuse for me to buy another bag. Okay. The only other gripe that I have is not necessarily that it's very hard to get into. It's just that I thought it was going to hold a little bit more than I thought it was. Because if I take my phone, y'all know I'm filming on my phone. If I take my phone and put it right here that's really going to be it for the back pocket and then like i said if i'm a vlogger you'll you should, you'll be able to fit a you know a vlogging camera in here but i would say like um 
Now, a large iPhone would probably fit in here, but like an iPad, of course, a computer will not fit in here. So for, I would say, the everyday woman, you cannot carry your life in this bag, but I think for the everyday woman, if she carries more than what I carry, this would not be an everyday bag. It's certainly not a work bag. I do appreciate the two compartments and then the pocket in the back. Um, this would be again more of like a brunch bag, maybe a date night bag or just running errands. Something um, something quick and easy, something, this is not a work bag. So something that's quick and easy, you know, something where you're going out, something brunch with friends, maybe date night, um, maybe like a picnic, something where you don't have to carry a lot, but you still want a classic chic bag okay okay you guys so that's all that i have for you today i just wanted to give you a quick review of this bag um as far as buying another one i'm actually really liking the white color it's not white white it's more of an off-white but i just have so many reservations about buying a white bag at that price point i do have a white bag it is a top panel from kate spade um, there is no color transfer, but I also was trying to carry it very cautiously. I am myself working on just wearing my pieces and loving them and not being so cautious. So I really like the white one. I love the fact that the hardware is this same um, brushed gold, or I guess they're calling it, <clears throat> excuse me, I guess they're calling it vintage gold because it's not that very shiny gold. So I'm looking at that one. And then the only other thing that I would say is that I would be interested to know how big the small is because I tried on the medium in, in the store and just for my body frame, um, I am 104 pounds and I'm 5'2 for reference and I'll do a couple of mod shots in a second. Um, so I just felt like the medium overtook me. So I would be curious to know how much bigger the small would be um, in between this mini and the medium, okay? But I just wanna remind you that here on YouTube, I do upload videos every Wednesday and Sunday. And then of course, you know, right here, I put my Instagram handle. Let me quickly do some mod shots and I will see y'all next time.